You ready to go outside? It's snowing and it's freezing. Right. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? That sounds awesome. So today I got a Walter update for you, but real quick, something I'm following today on Friday, March 5th, is a judge out in Colorado is scheduled today to decide if Letitia Stauk, who is known across the board for being very stupid, the judge is deciding today whether she is ready to defend herself against her murder charge of killing her stepson. And the judge gave her the same spiel you get really when anyone decides to defend themselves, let alone someone who's known for being an idiot. The judge said, listen, it's hard. It's going to be tough. It's hard for, for lawyers who do this for a living. It's not the least complicated thing. Are you sure you want to do it? And with a stupid look on her face, she said, yeah, I'm like a professional or something. And so they gave her the 30,000 pages of documents that she's going to have to go through. So that's probably a funny scene watching her do that. And like I said, today, the judge is deciding whether she's ready, which even that cracks me up. I just picture the judge looking at her, like staring long and hard at her at the defense table, coloring with a blank look on her face. The judge is like, all right, well, yeah, I guess she's ready as she's ever going to be. Let's go. So I am hoping and praying that they are going to allow cameras in the courtroom for Letitia Stouk's murder trial debut. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so Walter, the great Waltijo, the walrus. The nickname that we probably call him the most right now is just Budge. Like when he walks over, I just go, hey, Budge. I don't even know, really know where it came from. But he's doing great. We've had him for five weeks. In that five weeks, he went from 10 pounds to 22 pounds. He's pretty much a mouth powered by 22 pounds of muscle. For the first four weeks, it was a bit of a handful. And now it's getting a lot easier. He's figuring things out. And um, yeah, so let's go. I'm going to click the camera around and we'll go say what's up to him. All right, look at us, we're on the move. Good for you guys. And here he is, the man himself. How you doing, bro? You chewing? That's a good boy. He's doing good. Might as well show you guys what the studio looks like when I'm filming. Come over here. All right, here we are behind the scenes at the True Crime Loser studio. So, show you guys. I've used this shelf and that piano bench, which has seen better days for every episode, just to keep the height and everything, the sound consistent. I, my girlfriend hates this shelf. She thinks it's ugly, but... I think it sounds good. I got a pillow. This pillow has been back, stuffed back there since the beginning of the show to deaden the sound even more. I put the tripod right here. Right here is all of the jokes and notes and bits and jottings for the entire show. Okay, got someone laying on their horn. Over here, I got the piano. You dumped out all the toys and are chewing on the bag. Perfect. And then I got just this room divider to help with the light. We don't have any shades or blinds on these windows, and it gets really bright in here, as you've seen. So I don't use any light bulbs for the show. It's all natural light, just from the sun. And if I need it a little more light, I fold this back a little to let more through. And if it's too bright, I try to 
spread the whole thing out to block as much as possible. But I tell all my buddies, all my comedian buddies, like, you got to start a show or a podcast or something. The days of some NBC exec handing you a career are over. So stop having a loser mindset and get out there and make it happen. And one of my buddies for like months is like, yeah, I'm going to start it. I'm going to do it. And I was like, well, are you going to do it? And he goes, yeah, well, for the past month, I've been really trying to dial in the lighting what do you do for lighting? And I go, I do nothing. I don't turn on any lights. Just whatever the lighting looks that day from the sun, I just try to get an episode out. It's got to be all about completion. If you sit there and go, oh my God, the lighting's not perfect, months will go by and you won't do anything. So my advice, if you're trying to do anything creative, have the goal be completion. I think it works out better. But anyway, good, good boy. All right, folks. think that's it. I'm going to go find myself something to eat. So I'll see you next time. Why? Stiving why? Shamita. Anyway, there's his butthole. See you guys soon.